Nationwide, the number of deaths from accidental drug overdoses are soaring. Across the United States, overdose deaths topped 100,000 for the first time in a 12-month period. It's affecting families everywhere. The medical examiner's office shows St. Louis City saw almost 900 since January 1st of 2020 and about 700 in St. Louis County during that same period. Counterfeit pills are responsible for 75% of the opioid overdose deaths because they're laced with fentanyl. Well, tonight the DEA is showing us an exclusive inside look into its biggest fentanyl bust in the history of the St. Louis office. It involves a drug kingpin who will be sentenced in just a few weeks for running a nationwide drug network right through St. Louis. This unsuspecting storage facility in Florissant was a key transportation point for massive amounts of fentanyl, a drug killing people in record amounts. It remains to this day the largest uh, one-time seizure um, of fentanyl uh, on one occasion. These are actual evidence photos of the 27 kilos of fentanyl they found hidden in the storage unit inside duffel bags, enough to cause 13 and a half million deadly doses of the drug. That 27 kilograms of, of fentanyl would have went to a local distributor or more than likely it would have been broken down into smaller quantities and provided to several different area local distributors. But this so case was much judge, bigger than St. Louis. One thing DEA tries to do in all of our investigations is not target specific individuals, but we try to target organizations so that we can dismantle and destroy these organizations. This was the man at the top, Gerald Hunter. These 10 others under him have all been caught and sentenced. Gerald Hunter and members of his organization were hiding large quantities of fentanyl in pieces of furniture with either hidden compartments or, or the fentanyl was built inside. These evidence photos showed the desks, armoires, and other pieces of furniture where the fentanyl was hidden. Delivery companies brought the furniture from California to St. Louis, having no idea what was inside. They would store the furniture inside storage units until the fentanyl was ready to be distributed to local distributors and, and customers. Agents seized guns, stacks of cash, and a hydraulic press used to make fake pills sold as Xanax, Adderall, and Percocet, but laced with deadly amounts of fentanyl. They look like a regular prescription drug, and they are not safe for you. These drug networks do not care about your safety or your health. The only thing they care about is the bottom line, and that is making money. When agents raided the storage facility in 2017, Hunter got away. It took years for U.S. Marshals in St. Louis to find him. Hunter was out and about for almost three years avoiding apprehension. And what made that so difficult was his network expanded across several states. But they finally caught him in Los Angeles. It's very satisfying to have him in custody and the resources that were seized throughout his drug trafficking and his trade. It's very satisfying. The St. Louis DEA seized 188 kilos of fentanyl last year, more than the previous two years combined. But the Hunter case still holds the record for the largest single bust.